So what up, y'all? Y'all know your boy Simon the Scene, Wicked and Mean. And I got a nice unboxing video for y'all, man. I'm actually unboxing the 6S86 Sim, sim Racing Rig, y'all. Y'all know recently I kind of picked up a new hobby, which is Sim Racing, y'all. So I play a bunch of games. Uh, what is that? Settle Cars on PC, Gran Turismo on PlayStation on the PS5 automobilista or like i'm in the sim racing category right now or or sim sim cade whatever and even fours i've been getting in so i decided to get off the desk y'all i've been on the desk for a few months i did invest in a direct drive wheel a while ago and i decided now to take that next leap and actually invest in a whole chassis now you know these chassis ain't cheap <laughs> but i will say this the Six Sigma brand name, that brand name, just go and look it up. They got some of the best bang for buck when it comes to value and it comes to cheaper, but it's still good quality. They got some of the best, y'all. And it's one of the aluminum type rigs. So I had to, because I am 6'6", okay? I'm not one of those short people out there that could fit into anything. No offense, but I am kind of tall. So I had to be careful that I couldn't get any old rig out there. So I had to look into it, make sure that whatever rig I have would be adjustable and able to fit my long ass legs. Uh, You're going to see in the video, in the gameplay, how tall I really am. Okay, I am kind of tall, right? Now, of course, in the bomb box, I'm going to show you all, all everything I'm taking out of the box and all of that. And I'm going to try to speed up as quick as possible because I want to get to the gameplay. Now, I'm not going to show the assembly because there are videos on YouTube. If you all want to check out that assembly, you all could definitely check that out. But overall, I just want to show you all a quick unboxing. Tell you all what I think about the item, of course. And show you all some gameplay. Because this, I, I cannot give them enough props on this product. But there are some downsides if you decide to go with this website, you all. Number one, the website is a little uh, black and whitish, paleish kind of thing, y'all. It's not the most marketable website at the end of the day. And you know I got a degree in marketing, so I could see where they could add some color and make it look more attractive to somebody who's coming to the website to make it. But that's neither here nor there. Once the product is good, right? Now, the next dunk side is it takes a while for you to get this rig. I ordered this, and I can't make this up. Somewhere between July or something like that, and I received it somewhere around September. It took a while for me to get this. Now, of course, you got a lot of different brands out there which you could get it much faster, but not at this price point. And to be honest, I actually got it while it was on sale. It, once you go at a certain times, you could get sales for their items. And I went there when it was on sale, and I actually had an additional change when it comes to the side mount. I picked it up for the for the CSL DD Pro, that side mount. So I actually got that, and y'all going to see how it looks as well, which I'm really glad I went with that because, again, I got long-ass legs, y'all. So I need anything to pick up as much space as possible so I can fit these long-ass legs in there, right? Now, while y'all not hearing me... Um, describing what i'm unboxing because something was wrong with the audio just putting this out there so that's why i'm voicing this over right now and of course i'm gonna show you all, all the items that i'm taking out the box afterwards and try to let y'all understand what y'all are getting now they come with two heavy ass boxes and y'all know me i'm international so when it comes to customs and clearing y'all might have to find out how much it's gonna cost so that's an additional cost as well that y'all gotta think about if y'all are international if y'all not if you're in the u.s or you know, Canada, you'll be all right. But I think the company is straight out of Canada as well. So this is everything y'all have seen that's out of the boxes right here. Um, you know, and everything was pretty easy. Now, there are some tutorials on YouTube that you could go check out that's going to show you how to put these things together. The only thing you might have to try to figure out is what screws go where. And that was the biggest, you know, challenge for me personally. Now, this is me after like two to close to three hours right here. I actually got it together with everything without the seat. Now, I had to wait for the seat for it to be shipped to me because I didn't get one of their seats personally. And here is the final look right here. 
<laughs> now this, I actually pick up this seat from eBay, y'all. I'm sorry. I went the budget route still, man. Eventually, I'm going to get one of the most expensive seats. But this right here was pretty good, and it's pretty comfortable as well. I got this off eBay. Most of these seats cost damn near the same price as the chassis. Ain't no way I'm about to spend that money on a seat that costs the same price of the chassis. I, I just couldn't do it, y'all. I might as well get an old car seat and put it in there. But let me know what y'all think, man. Overall, I like how sturdy it is. It's working really well. I give it a damn near 9 out of 10, to be honest with y'all. From my experience so far, there is no flex. I could actually turn up the stiffness on my brakes right now. Now there's a different level, so I'm finally off the desk. Now here is some gameplay. My first game where I went and played some Gran Turismo 7. That's one of the sim games I play. I went from this side view to show y'all how long I am. You see, my, I didn't even know how I looked that long, man, to be honest with y'all. I'm long as hell, boy. <laughs> but... I'm really comfortable. And of course, the seat could slide forward and back. And of course, you got the back could actually lean back a little bit. So everything is adjustable right now on my rig. And I'm really happy with what I got. So you see right there, it's just a recent race. I'm getting into Moza and everybody got the same car, but your boy decided to go with the Ferrari. Now, the audio might be a little messed up for the mic in the gameplay, but I am going to leave y'all to it, of course. Let me know what y'all think about the gameplay. Let me know what y'all think about the rig. Remember, it's a Six Sigma 6S80 um, sim racing chassis I got. Pretty affordable chassis. Not the most expensive, but it does what it's supposed to do. And it's solid, y'all. Trust me. Now, you can make a lot of additions to this aluminum rig. But anyways, y'all, check out the gameplay. Let me know what y'all think. How blessed will be safe out there, y'all. Peace. Fire, boy. Oh, oh, oh. Thank God 
for ghosts? Eh. Thank you, ghosts. That's the one thing with it. The ghosts make the races run so much smoother, man. Then you're a little bit beyond the one thing. Yeah, me, alright? He tried, he tried to do it and map me right there. He tried to do it and map me right there, but calm down. Why people just don't race clean, bro? Why just don't race clean? Why you gotta do all that? Seven. Alright, we in a good spot right now. Let's see if we could get this the right way right here. This is big. Wasn't how I would like to take it, but still alright.
Got him. Got him. Got him. Let's go. Let's go. I gotta take this one real good, man. This one I gotta take real good right here. I need to go and turn real quick. Alright, we got it. He tried, he tried, he tried. Good try. Good try. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Great race. Great race. We'll take that. We'll take a sixth place right there, man. We'll take a sixth place right there, man. Let's go. Woo! That was beautiful. That was beautiful. So I use this as a wireless um, keyboard and mouse, of course, right? That was beautiful right there. I ain't gonna lie. 